Hello Zebaherd, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today we're going to be heading back into some more time trial action. This time we're doing all of the Nitro Kart tracks, or at least as many as I can. There's quite a few of them, of course, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing all of them in one video, but I think, how many are there in total? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14 and 15. I don't know if these count, actually. So 13, so I'll try to get at least like 6 done today and maybe another 7 in the next episode or the next time we do time trials so that we can hopefully at that point finally unlock entropy i thought that we only had to do the ctr tracks i read online that's the case i guess that was a total lie <laughs> so we're gonna be doing inferno island to start things off in today's episode um i don't know who we want to race i mean at this point i'm actually pretty fine with just doing some random stuff just going for it oh it looks like we got is her name i don't forget i don't really remember i forget uh <laughs> so we'll just we'll go ahead and check her out i guess a little bit don't know what her stats are, but whatever it is, it should be enough just to um, get the time trial started, and then we can change to a character we really actually want to play if we want to. That should be fine. Okay, Inferno Island. I'm gonna skip the little cutscenes. We've seen them enough times. Pretty cool cart setup, actually. I don't know if we've used this cart too much. I think it's Isabella, but I might be wrong. I think that's her name. But yep, there's that shortcut right there at the very beginning. With a character like this, I think she has some kind of decent handling. Ooh. So far, so good with this character, actually. I like it. Whoa, watch it. So, of course, this track is a lot like Crash Cove in its design, and it's an even in its theming. Um, of course, with this, they sort of change it up by making it nighttime, making it look a lot more like a foreign planet, but the original in Nitro Kart definitely was supposed to sort of be inspired by Crash Cove a lot more, so I think they did a good job changing it up. So far, we're zooming through this track, though. That's good. And I love seeing Oxide's crash ship over there. So I guess, like, after he left, <laughs> after he left from CTR, this is the first thing he did is crash on this planet, which I guess is sort of like in Velo's domain. Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty. Last lap coming up. Not bad. I did mess up a drift there, but it's not the end of the world. Big jump off the ramp. Because there's not really too many major shortcuts you can do in this track, except for that one in the very beginning. And there's, of course, like that big ramp on the side. But honestly, just like in Crash Cove, it's a bit slower to take that, it seems. So I'm just going to leave it be. There we go. And boom. But it's all just about taking good lines and good turns around things. The second lap was the fastest, but just ever so slightly than a third. Not even by a full second. Definitely unlocked in trophy there. Up, yeah, we get 125 points. Oh, look at that, we unlock a new sticker. We're so close to getting that final new crunch skin. Um, yeah, we got an, an, a new sticker, which is the Cortex Pharaoh. Sorry I never made a video getting to gold tier, but maybe I'll make a video going through gold tier. Um, but yeah, let's move to the next level. Or not, actually not really. <laughs> we gotta do Entropy and then we'll move to the next level. You know what I mean. Alrighty, so I have both Isabella's ghost and uh, Entropy's ghost. We're playing as Amy this time. I wanted to try a character with max speed, see if it's any different, and so far it definitely feels like it, because the turns aren't too demanding on this track, that's for sure. So I think that I could just work with a character like this and really go fast. I missed on the speed boost, because Isabella was actually a, a basic beginner character, like Crash and Cortex, didn't realize that. Like, she controlled pretty well. I, I wasn't expecting, you know, those basic stats, but. Yeah, not too bad. I'm excited to check out the entire Nitro Squad, which is all of the uh, new characters added in this Grand Prix. But that is way down the line. We still have to showcase every single Nitro Car character. But I'm glad I almost have them all unlocked. The last one I need to unlock is uh, Megumi, who is in the pit stop right now. I just gotta earn more coins for it. But so far, we are way ahead of both Tropy and our previous time by a good margin. It shows you this kind of character stat sometimes just works. It really depends. You really need to uh, maximize your potential with the character stats um, when it comes to 
time trials. There's just some characters are gonna be better for other, some tracks than others. And of course you get to play to your strengths as well, but if you can be a bit more versatile, it certainly helps. There we go. And of course, lining up those triple boosts, because if we get all three of them, it's more beneficial than if we just chained up like one at a time. There it is, there it is, and boom, we win. Very good setup there, 34-33 was our best lap that time. Yeah, we did great, a full four seconds ahead of our previous time, and we are good now for real to move to the next level. Stop with the surveys! All righty, we're on one of my favorite Nitro Kart tracks, Jungle Boogie. This one's just a lot of fun, and I'm just, you know, I decided for the, uh, First time around, we'll just do a random character each time, so this time we are playing as uh, Entrance, who's a high acceleration character. Same as Coco and Engine. And as uh, Oxide, who we played last episode. And I did not do very well with him, but you know what? That's in the past now. But this track's a lot of fun. Has this super awesome shortcut up here. You can uh, sort of cut the whole thing short. Which is, you know, that's the definition of a shortcut. What do you know? All right, well, very good at explaining things, I am. Okay, I sort of messed that up. We were going really good before that, though. Yeah, that can be a tough sort of risk and reward shortcut. If you fall off at the wrong time, you can definitely end up going a lot slower. I never even knew that shortcut was up there in the original game. I knew about this one, because it's so obvious. But I didn't know about the, uh, <laughs> the other little bridge area right over here. Okay, that's not too bad. I was just barely sort of grinding on it. Come on. So far, so good. Okay, wow, wow, that was great. Excellent final lap there, 2719. Wow, definitely enough for Entropy. I sort of want to keep with this character. Um, we might as well just like keep with a different high acceleration character at the least um, and see how that goes. Alrighty, it's time for Jungle Boogie against Entropy. I actually decided over you know, my previous choice of sticking with Entrance, just last second, I wanted to try a character with, uh, oh gosh, I'm not doing very good right now <laughs> with a uh, low turning. Because I feel like he would help in certain situations, but look at how quickly I can catch up is the big thing. So sort of an awkward start. I think I gotta avoid the first shortcut with a character type like this. Because like, I could end up making a pretty grave mistake if I don't. Yeah, he has high speed. I always get it mixed up and say that the low turn characters have high acceleration. Ah, but see, that's why I can't risk it. But I man, we're both way ahead of entropy. Whoop. All right, because when I'm actually landing things properly, I'm like going way ahead of him, or myself. <laughs> you know, so if I just avoid the shortcut this time, let's see if I come out of this corner faster than my original time. Not looking like it, because I got stuck in the water a little bit. So this is about on par. I feel like if I perfected it with both ones, like maybe this one would be a little bit faster. Like this type but hard to say, either way. Really not too much of a big difference, so it's just sort of personal preference. Yep, really close behind. It says new high score, but it's like, it's not. I don't know, that's so weird. <laughs> it's not my best time. Anyways, there's that one done. Jungle Boogie's a ton of fun for sure, but let's see how the next track works. Okay, so here we are, Clockwork Wumpa. We're playing as a Little Norm, I think his name is. Actually, don't know what his stats are. But well, I love how he doesn't have any voice acting. He just has like whistles and stuff. Come on now. Actually, yeah, I really don't know what his stats are. It might just be in the middle like uh, Crash and Cortex, which we can work with. But I might even expect, I mean, he seems like a pretty, you know, being little norm. Uh, he might be a bit of a lightweight character, so it might end up being that he is uh, just like Polar and Pura. Why did I do that? <laughs> the only person who's gonna fall into that is me. Okay, there we go. Awesome, so far pretty good lap time. But the most important thing is getting this, so let's try it out. So far, so good. 
Ah, oh, I hit that corner just ever so slightly. That's a shame. But I was able to keep it for at least, you know, a little bit. That'll overall improve my time. I can only hope. I don't know if it would have been comparative to just not hitting the corner. Okay. Got through the cogs way better this time because I was able to get a couple of drifts in. Okay. Awesome. Oh no, don't hit the wall. You're kidding me. I didn't even get to keep the blue boost through the actual jump. Oh no. All right, well, that is a huge shame. That's definitely gonna eat into my time. It's the final lap. Let's see if it can at least be better than that. It has to be. If not, I might worry that we might not even unlock Oxide, not Oxide, Entropy. Definitely not Oxide. I don't even know if you have to unlock Oxide's Ghost. I think as soon as you beat Entropies, you get Oxide's. I have not checked that, actually. I mean, I don't know if it matters to me too much right now, but it's just good to keep in mind. Whoa. Ooh, come on. But as you can see, Little Norm actually has the Velo Mask, which is cool. Which I don't know if that was how it was like in uh, the original Nitro Kart. I can't remember, to be honest with you. It's been way too long. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, because I'm trying to get a drift while I'm on the pad, because that seems to make the big difference. So you're like, you don't need to, I don't know, just crazy there. Uh, but we were able to unlock him. I like how I don't get an exclamation mark near any of the laps, because none of them were very good. We'll try again, though, and hopefully it'll turn out a little bit better. I don't mind choosing this character type again, though. Decided to change the purr because Little Norm actually does have middle stat with like Crash and Cortex as per usual. So we'll see if this goes any better. Don't hit the wall right away. But our previous time was a full five seconds better than Tropies, which is weird for how awful we did with that and fell into the pit multiple times. So if we don't just like fall into the pit whatsoever, we should get a win. Because he doesn't take the cog shortcut, at least not the first. Because I noticed that's sort of a thing with Entropy is that he'll sometimes take shortcuts and he'll sometimes not. But this shortcut right here is quite important to take. The cogs are arguable if they're actually helpful, especially for a low turn character like a, a Tropy. Okay, here we go, here we go, ready? All right, just break midair and keep it. See, sometimes it seems like you can't break in midair and keep the blue boost, but you actually can. The problem is following that up with a lot of boosts to actually make something worthwhile is not easy, but now that I'm so far ahead, I could really make some things work here. I don't think I'm gonna take the cogs. Oh, darn it. That's really what I wanted to not do is hit the wall. That's why I wanted to not take the cogs. Here we go, here we go. So I'm trying to earn up as much boost and what they call reserves as I possibly can before we get started with this. Because I think that really matters. That's really important right there. That's it. Now if I don't hit any walls, I should be, ah, oh, I should be good to actually make some major speed there. I don't know what happened to my other ghost. He's gone. <laughs> It's just me and Entropy now. What happened? Yeah, that was that's weird. That's really weird. The other ghost just disappeared. All right, see you, little Norm. I guess we didn't need you that much. Maybe if we just go so far in front of the ghosts, the game just gives up on loading them. That'd be weird, though. What happened about that? I sort of want to like rewatch the footage and see exactly when he disappeared. This isn't that weird. Like that's super odd. Okay, come on. Wow, that was great. That was my best time around that corner yet. It's so weird, but 46 seconds was my best for the second lap. Way better than our other one. A whole 12 seconds better. That's crazy for sure. I get 53 coins and I'm gonna move to the next one. Here we are at Android Alley. Playing is tiny. Oh, and even in the uh, Oxide, not the Oxide, the uh, Cortex cart. That's pretty cool. It is uh, accurate to the story. So I gotta make sure, at the least, 
that I don't hit the train. I hope I can manage that. I think I will. Or maybe I can't. You're kidding me. Yikes. Oh, luckily I didn't fall off the track either. Okay. You know, it doesn't matter much. I got such a good start there too. Like that was a really good beginning all the way up until getting hit by the train. Okay, this turn can be tough. But I'm gonna, ooh. And then it sort of spirals down. But we actually handled that really nicely. And Tropy should be really easy if he doesn't use that shortcut every single time. And once again, beyond getting hit by the train, we're making some nice time through this. That might be one of my best laps ever on this course. Seems like it so far. I'm not doing as well through the train station this time, but at least I'm not getting hit by no trains. I should be able to get the boost this time. It's a train just passed. Oh, I messed up that drift though. So let's see if I can beat my first lap time of about a minute. So far, it's looking good. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, especially since I sort of nicked the wall a little bit there. There we go. But I think it's gonna be better than a minute. 57 seconds, and oh my gosh, that's a great way to start the lap, isn't it? Oh, that was not good. So I'm hesitant to say this will be my best lap. It probably won't be, and I'm just messing up my angling. It's just like, man, I wonder how good that first lap would have been if I didn't get hit by the train. I probably would have been a whole five or six seconds shorter. I'll have to find out when we race it again, after this lap, of course. Okay. Oh gosh, no. Oh no, trying to dr dodge the street cleaners. So far, so good. Okay, last corner right here. Ah, oh, and I smacked the wall, because what else would I do in the last lap? 102, my worst one yet. 57 seconds for that second lap. I feel like I could do much better than even that. I definitely wanna keep um, this going on, though. I wanna keep up with the uh, heavy character. So let's move to the next thing, the uh, next character we wanna play against, Tropy. Okay, so I'm just playing as Dingo Dial this time. I wanted to play as the same character type. What better than Dingo Dial? Whoa, whoa, okay, so I'm keeping up with my old time, at least a good amount, so I know that if I just, well, the train wasn't there this time. What's with that? Is the train really at a random spot every time? I feel like that's really weird. It makes it hard to work with with time trial, but I was like a whole 15 seconds ahead of a trophy with our previous time, so I'm like, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just trying to see if I can't dominate my old time, you know? Yeah, I'm very concerned about the fact that the train just shows up randomly each time. Like, that's a little weird because you can't perfect it. Like, there's sort of a bit of randomness when it comes to whatever your best possible time is, and that's just not very good because the train definitely wasn't where it was before. I mean, I might be wrong. I didn't see it at all where our previous time with Tiny got hit. Okay, whoa, see, that's perfect. So I'm not going down there because I don't trust it. Here comes the train here. So far I'm way ahead of my old time. All right. Wow, that was good. Our buddy Dingo Dial doing great. He's a speed monster, speed machine. Whoa, okay. No, I was trying to go into a drift. Man, and now Tiny's catching up. Jeez, 
I was doing so well too. That stinks. Just gotta be careful. Trying to make sure I don't get squished again. See, like, the train definitely wasn't lined up to hit Tiny there. Like, that's weird. Okay, so this time, with confidence, I could go down this way, get an extra speed boost. I can't believe I fell off, though, in that second lap. I was doing so good. Like, everything else was virtually perfect. Okay. Oh no, I saw it coming, but it's just like, there's those times where it's just like, you, you can see it's gonna happen, but there's just no way to avoid it. Whoa, whoa, what, what? That's so not fair, I've never gotten that much air off of that before, but why did it, oh my gosh, come on game, you're kidding me. So by the end of it, Tiny's time was actually better because of a bunch of baloney. But we get our new best lap time of 55.95. That's crazy. If we could have done that three times in a row, that would have been under three minutes for sure. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> but okay, I'm done with the track. That's all that matters. We're moving to the next one. Okay, so here we are on Electron Avenue. I luckily randomed a high turn character. So that is great. I forget this guy's name forever and always, but once we showcase him, I'll probably start remembering it a bit more. I can't believe I missed the blue boost there. I'm definitely used to Tiny and Dingo Dial for right now, and that is not gonna do me any favors. Because I could dominate this course as Ripperoo. We saw that uh, in the past. I forgot what we were doing. I guess we must have just been doing tokens. Tokens are time relics, one of the two. And I think we were playing as Ripperoo, and we tore it up, and he's also a high turn character. Especially around that one. That bend is a really tough one. I'd say the second most difficult bend in the in the track, and I messed that up, that stinks. So my first lap here isn't perfect. There we go. Oh gosh, come on. This is the toughest turn in the track. Oh, couldn't keep it. I've been able to keep that as Ripperoo though. We could practice that enough at some point. Oh, I was able to keep it all the way up until then, though. Oh, gosh. Very lucky timing there that I didn't get hurt. Oh, gosh. So keeping the blue boost, you know, along this entire track would be incredibly challenging, but definitely incredibly possible. I mean, almost every boost gives the blue boost. It's just the bends and turns you have to bring it through are very, very uh, demanding. Okay, this time, yeah, keeping it up in the air before I went on the bottom path. Don't think it matters too much. Oh, gosh. I kept it going, though. That's good. This is also a tough turn coming up. Oh, I was able, not able to do it. Totally killed our momentum. Ah, uh, it's so tough. I know it's doable. I just, I wanna try to avoid breaking if I can. I don't know what happened there. I don't know, that was weird. I don't know. Okay, come on. Definitely. Staying down below. Oh boy. Okay, lap two was slightly better. Lap three needs to be the best one. Okay, we're storming off. I hit the wall at the very end, but luckily it didn't really count. Oh no. Oh. Not what I wanted to do. I was just trying to avoid the exclamation box. Well, why are you not drifting? Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Drift. And what's happening? I'm just not keeping the blue boost at all now. There we go. I don't know what was happening there. I 
And like I can break and not hit the wall there, but I end up messing things up in other ways. Ah, why do, I don't know why my momentum totally south for that one. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's super picky. Oh, come on, I just can't do it. I can't make it work this time. Such a shame. I haven't taken an upper path a single time this race. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't even fall at all before Velo came and saved me. That was sort of a little uncool. But anyways, that was definitely my worst lap time, but enough to open up the ghost. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna try to do better than that, buddy. Let's go ahead and get that ghost set up. Okay, so we're trying to as per, uh, it's so weird that she, or he, has the same stats as uh, the big blue guy we just raced. Okay, there we go. Oh no. And as per usual, we dominated Trophy's time in the original. Well, like that's not really what I'm too worried about. I definitely got this first lap figured out a little bit better to begin with. Maybe Pura is my good luck character. I'll have to wait and see. Okay. So far, it's really good. It's like super duper good. Ah, once again though, I couldn't make that work. We'll see how this one goes. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't keep it though, which is sort of a shame. I feel like if maybe I got one more drift in, I could have. Ah, uh, because sometimes you can a mid-air break and you keep a blue boost, but sometimes you can't. It's just sort of weird. It's all about how many times you boosted before that, I suppose. Can I, yeah, okay, I didn't get hit there. That was where I was going to. Luckily I didn't. Ooh, big jump. Our previous time is catching up. So I must have handled something a little bit better. In that previous time. Whoa. Not too bad. But I feel like we're definitely gonna get a better time overall if I just keep not doing stuff like that. What is up with me? Oh my gosh. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine, because we'd really have to start racing badly for Trophy to catch up. But I'm definitely determined to catch up to my old time now. I know at some point I fall off with that guy. Ugh. I mean, it's definitely tough to race all the tracks as perfectly as I'd like to. Yeah, you, you, there's no amount of drifting that can get you through, through that corner. You have to be able to break jump. Nah, not happening. All right, buddy, I'm catching up to you, right? Uh, not really. You're right there, I see you. Oh no. Once again, taking the bottom path. Usually I take the upper path there, so it's weird that I just haven't been able to get that today. I like the giant neon pizza sign over there. That was funny. Never noticed that. All right, Krunk, this is not, his name's not Krunk. What is that from? I don't know. Uh, well, let's just keep going. I think I'm thinking of Crunch, which is the Bandicoot guy. So it's not him. <laughs> Come on, we just gotta keep catching up. Oh. And it looks like he messed up, yeah, I messed up my blue boost there with him. And I know that I fall off on that last lap somewhere. So I just gotta make sure I don't, and boom, we'll have a better time. Ah, that was worse. Cause sometimes like it totally stops on a dime, and sometimes it doesn't. It has this like sort of flow to it that I was doing really well until I totally was like, hey, let's ruin it. <laughs> but that was the best yet. So at this point, it's not looking like I'm going to beat my old time. That's fine. Electron Avenue is a really, really, really tough course. And look at this, I'm actually going up here this time. Well, actually, no, that's right where I fell off was right there at the end. So I did beat my old time, but not by much, by two seconds. All right, there we go. 80 coins for completing that, very cool. Let's try to get another race done. So here we are, deep sea driving. I actually, uh, random polar, 
which I don't think is going to be the best for this. I definitely want a low turning character for it because we can get some massive stuff going on. But I will make the most of this for now. This is not really the way I wanted to handle this. Whoa. But we'll do what we can. Because I know we've gone so fast around here. I think with Amy, which of course, whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know why I'm not, I'm not doing so well for this first lap. That's for sure. I could do way, way better than that. So let's just try that a little bit on the second and third laps. Okay, watch it. Somehow I didn't get hit by any of those. Now this is the one I need to keep. And I kept it because then we can cut through this. No problem at all. And like that's the big thing. That's it. See, that's the line you want to take right there. <laughs> Be careful, we got this polar, and this is where the good turning could be very useful. I don't know if it's exactly necessary. Oh, why did I do that? That was silly of me. Luckily, we're not too far off from just getting another one. Ow, never mind. That was our only blue boost. So, definitely going through this a lot slower. We were all set up for a really good setup there, too. <laughs> that was a redundant sentence, but hi. My point still stands. Ah, oh, and of course we get hit this time. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, come on, everything is falling apart. Like even then I still got a better time than the first lap. Would show you if I wasn't a dingus and didn't mess everything up, we would have had a really wicked time. Honestly, I might stick with Polar still, or just like a high turn character. Oh my gosh, what is even happening? It's like, why? Why does that have to be the way it is? Okay, ready, go for it. Get to drifting, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm just not doing well. I just do worse with every lap, apparently. I mean, not literally, because the second lap was actually better in time, but I feel like I performed, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, come on. Whoa, whoa, I'm way up here. <laughs> that was crazy, I was in a full loop-the-loop. And that's the end of it. Yikes, that last lap was awful. 45 seconds is the time to beat. I might just keep with this character type because I honestly think we could get something really good if just the, the stars align. So I was super wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and do a low turning character because Tropy actually beat our original time. And I can't let that stand, so we're playing as Penta. And we'll see if he takes this shortcut to start things off. It really isn't the best idea to, but it looks like he tried it. Whoa, okay. I just need to keep things going on for this first lap as well as possible, and then just keep working from there. And like this part does get scary without as good turning, but I think it's fine. Yeah, that part, and I, I had to donk it. I couldn't just like hit it and that slow me down. I like did a full donk, which makes us lose all of our speed. So that was really silly. But even then I'm ahead of both of them, which shows you what the potential is for this track. Wow, oh, come on, not a good time for that. If I don't get this boost here, which I did, thankfully. Okay, oh, I didn't keep it there, that weird. Okay, I gotta restart. Man, I was doing fine before I was like, hey, let's row in this, let's just, let's just mess it up. <laughs> come on. Like I may have been able to catch up, but the chances were low. So once again, Cut this corner like that because it's smarter than doing the shortcut. There we go. Whoa, man. And this one's a lot like Blizzard Bluff where you just gotta keep trying until you get lucky with the obstacles and you don't get hit. Because once you get hit, like it just it, it's too late. But it's one of those things where it's just like, you're moving so fast, it's next to impossible to really know where those things are gonna be. Unless you just try it so often, and don't do things like that, please. Okay, Polar's in front of me, but Trophy is not. Okay. Keep at it. See, this time I didn't dunk, dunk the wall as much. And that's where maybe I need a character that's a little bit in the middle between this, like maybe the uh, high acceleration would be better than high speed. No, every time. Why does there have to be two of them there? 
in the most important part because you really need that to get through this. I mean, I'm ahead of Tropy and behind Polar and into the evil mouth of Doom I go. I'm gonna change characters. Okay, let's try with Coco. I think this might end up being better. We'll have to find out. It has slightly better turning, so like that's at least something. I think it was Amy that I last raced this track and did really well. It was on the uh, Time Relic uh, episode, but I can't quite remember. Oh, definitely can do that turn better, which is gonna be a huge difference maker. So if we could just get lucky, well no, it was not, it was the CTR tokens. What am I talking about? It wasn't Relic for Amy. So it might have not even been Amy, I just, I thought it was. That's good, okay, and then we just keep this right. That's what I'm talking about. So now we can just big jump, tight turn, and I'm, I end up losing it there, but as long as I just jump through that, like that's what matters the most, is jumping across the uh, off-road section because we would go much slower there if not. And then big jump over here, I almost hit that meter, that temperature gauge. Oh, I sort of kind of didn't hit the wall there, Wow, we get some major speed, and I messed up the blue boost, unfortunately, and I tried to adjust to not do that, and look what I still did. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love this track, but I also despise this track. You know what I mean? I mean, it looks like Entropy also hit the, he's just not moving. Wait, what happened there? Did he actually get stuck? Like you can see the ghost was not moving. That's weird. It's not odd. Whoa, come on. Oh, I almost, I, yeah, I did. I say almost. I went through that corner too tightly. At least I'm pushing the boundaries on what I can do there, I guess. I mean, I'm way ahead of both of our times, it seems. Like way, way, way ahead. I messed up a lot on that last lap with Polar. And there we go, we actually got through that for once. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, 43 seconds, and it could have been even better than that. So, it's like lots of opportunities there. A full 17 seconds better than Polar's time, my previous time. So yeah, very cool, that's what I'm talking about. But I think that'll actually be the last level of today. We did six of them in today's episode. We'll do another seven in the next time trial episode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we'll do those seven in the next time trial episode. And hopefully, finally, unlock entropy. But for right now, we'll take a little peek at the pit stop, our 3,380 coins. So I'm getting closer to being able to get this. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Before you go, be sure to comment Nitro Zebra so any of you have watched at the end and you are a Zebra Tazic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.